personally think there's more money in film, though. You know what I mean? Going on to a film conversation quickly, yeah. like, I look at um, Blue, Bloomhouse Productions, who produce, like, most of Jordan Peele's movies. Yeah. That guy started producing films. I think his first movie was Paranormal Activity. He made, what, like, a couple, like, I don't know how much, that like, 10 grand, 12 grand, whatever. Made, like, 200 million out of that. And then every film he's done from there has been a horror-ish film. Yeah. And then he's, he's low budget. Like, I think the most mm-hmm. budget he spends is, like, 10 million. And yeah. he always makes profit, regardless of how good or bad the movie is, always makes a substantial profit. Do you mm-hmm. know what I mean? So now he's going into films knowing that regardless of whether people like, dislike, mm-hmm. not only am I going to get everybody at this place paid, but we're going to be able to fund the next movie, et cetera, et cetera. And his brand is something mm-hmm. that's massive. You know, I think there's massive money in like movie production, not even like, you know, uh, what's called uh, agents and stuff like that, but movie production. Like if some of these rappers and, and athletes get into that, there's no reason why they can't start producing stuff. Yeah, yeah. Producing I, that I think I think with that you need one real good movie to launch you off, though. Just, just to, 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 to yeah, because if 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 you don't give me Get Out, I don't think I go and watch all the other stuff. Yeah, I mean, like, you, you no, have, but they you gave me Final Fantasy. You have to give me that stable that. No, but you, some, you some movie Final that's a uh, huh? Final Fantasy was the first movie from Blue Down. Yeah, but that was a hit though. Yeah, I mean, like, you mm. have to have, you have to have some form of success. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I, when, I, when I say you have to give me something, I don't mean it has to be like critically acclaimed. But it, has, it has to look like it's professional, like it's done well, yeah. and, and no, no. have a certain standard, and, and then we go from there. But, but that's the thing with production companies that they get very lucky. Production companies never really take the blame or the win or the loss because nobody goes to a film because Bloomhouse is producing it. Like, I don't go, oh, Bloomhouse is producing this movie. I go to the film because there's directors, the actors in it. And let, let's say, um, I don't know, LeBron James says, you know, I want to start producing movies. Yeah, mm-hmm. people because of his name, just because of his name, yeah. it might get more people in the seat initially. I mean, so better directors are going to throw scripts at it, saying, yo, you know, we've got LeBron attached to this, we're going to make more money. So I, I think I think if you do it right, mm. I'm saying, obviously, you know, up, you know, if you do it right, there's a lot of money in there. Like, there's no reason why 50 yeah. Cent should become. It's, it's, like, it's, 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 certainly, it's certainly less now than what it was. That, that's what I would say. Obviously, back in the day, if you had HBO was involved, you're watching it. If mm. you had Showtime, mm. yeah, I mean, yeah. like, those names really meant something. But now... Yeah, uh, you you could possibly see a show on FX or FX or um, Star yeah, yeah. that that is probably just as good as what you see on uh, on HBO and stuff. I think I think the internet uh, uh, and just technology in general, like with different choices that we have now, has given us more opportunity. To watch yeah, it's it's taking over. It's taking over. No one really watches TV nowadays, do they? Yeah. Nah, because like, no, everybody's busy. You want to watch it on your own time. You don't want to watch appointment TV. That's what it is. You don't want to watch. Oh, it's at eight o'clock on a Tuesday. Nah, nah, nah. You watch it. And you don't want to watch just one episode. Uh, no people, yeah. if they can, they want to watch ten, five, six episodes at once. So, wait. Mm-hmm. So, so speaking of that, what what's the quarantine entertainment routine for you guys now? Like, what are you watching? What are you listening to? You know. Well, oh, I just finished Gangs of London. In the the um, the viewing pleasure in, in the house at the moment. I just finished Gangs of London, the first episode. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna support that. London. Oh, come on, come yeah. on. Don't tell Black me. Guy I, I actually had to pause it just to come and you know see you guys now. But. Spoilers, spoilers. Everybody dies. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, 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 that, but that looks that looks real good as well, man. That looks real good. Mm. You know? Nah, it's it's real good, man. It's nice. Obviously, you know the issue that I have with every show. Outside of Top Boy, yeah. Whenever they do the hood, they always make everybody in the hood look like chavs. I don't know. Why, I don't know why they always do that. Like, okay, that? but but it, but what about the opposite way, where everybody was always black and every every criminal is always black, every drug dealer is always black, every yeah. No, no, no. All of them. No, I, yeah. I never felt like that. I felt like a lot of the times now they always make them Eastern European. No, I think that, a lot that, of the times that, now that's now. But I'm just saying, like yeah. before, like the nineties or whatever, like every. Every uh, dodgy looking character is, is always a black guy with a hoodie rubbing somebody or this whatever. Yeah, come yeah. around the corner. <laughs> yeah. I, I, yeah. I, don't, I, don't, I don't mind. They want to make the white guys look like criminals now. Yeah, I mean, it's so good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Just time. Just, 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 now we're getting yeah. paid. You know what I mean? <laughs> what, I do, what I do like about these shows now is that a lot of the time before, what I felt like in the UK and America, there was a very, like, very much. Uh, a separation between races, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Whereas like cities like London and New York, yeah, they're very much integrated cities. So it only makes sense that yeah. there are black people and white people and Asian people and all that that are actually friends, or if not close, especially in these day, day and age. 
So you can you can have someone of a different race that you almost see like a brother or you know can be adopted or it doesn't have to be old. You can only see people as family if they're white. Okay, but but, but yeah. that that, that uh, I think I know the scene you're talking about because I've seen that part. Mm -hmm. That's supposed to be an Albanian territory, isn't it? That's a little mm -hmm. Albanian. No, no, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. I'm saying, no, I'm saying you can see people. No, yeah. no, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about obviously, yeah. you know, like look at the two characters there. Like, they yeah. could, they, these days, a black and a white character can have families that are integrated yeah, and yeah, see yeah, each other yeah, as yeah. cousins, call each yeah. other auntie and uncle and stuff. Yeah. It's not weird or anything like that, you know? Mm. Yeah. Eddie, Eddie, what about you? What, what are you watching? What are you listening to? Music? No, I've been watching, um, you know, that MJ documentary, The Last Dance. Mm. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Documentaries. I've been into that for a bit. I jumped on this other program. It's called Peaky Blinders. I think everyone oh, knows that. Come on. <laughs> so jumped on that. that bro, the guy, the guy the jumped in. on. That, that was like five years ago, bro. Come on, son. Uh, but I jumped on it now, innit? Like, yes. Because I keep, you know you keep hearing about something, but you don't want to jump yeah. on the bandwagon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, nah. Since this yeah. whole, since whole quarantine thing. Can't mm. like Listen, you're lucky. I, I wish I had the uh, five seasons of Peaky Blinders to watch. In fact, I, mm. wish, I wish I never watched uh, Game of Thrones, and I had I had the whole of Game of Thrones to watch right now. You know what I mean? Oh, oh my days! <laughs> That's crazy. Just, man. Is, you know? don't, yeah, look, don't you recognize? Yeah, I said, don't you recognize the white guy there? Behind him is is one of the brothers from uh, Peaky Blinders. But he, he, looks, he, looks, he, looks, he looks. Oh yeah, isn't it? He looks mm. different though. He dyed his hair. He looks younger. He looked younger. Yeah, because he dyed. He, he looked, dyed his hair red. Yeah. This one, what, they want him to look like the dad. You know what I mean? So yeah, gave him like a bit of like just yeah. uh, stuff around the beard. Cool. Yeah, you know I mean, cool. but yeah, man. So you guys, what's, cool. what's the plan for the week, though? Guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. What well, people says? What well, it's gonna be better than power? Yeah, they're saying it might be better than power because it's had a strong start so far. Mm -hmm. so. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, but yeah, that sounds good, man. Yeah, gang, gangs of London, check it out, man. It looks, looks real good. Like both, yeah, best good, fight like, scene. Like actual, like um, hardcore, hardcore uh, action. And, you know, that, that's mm -hmm. best fight scenes in a UK series, no? Hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah, best fight scenes in the UK series. Probably one of the biggest budget UK Sorry. shows. Boom, Not boom. shows with just UK actors, but UK yeah. shows. Yeah, yeah, trust. It's a great show. I also like the fact that they're introducing new actors as well. Like there are a couple of black actors I didn't recognize that are coming through as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah, of course, of course. People are getting their shine, and yeah. everyone's been good. And the accent sounds good. There's no dodgy accents. Mm -hmm. No one sounds like they're from the 1970s. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like you know, that. I think that stereotypes died because. Um, when I went to America, mm. and a lot of my relatives there and friends there, they were telling me about Top Boy, and they said that I never knew that England had those type of people. And I'm just like, <laughs> bro, England, London is really like that. So yeah, well, it's dangerous, man. You know, so they didn't really deep that. Mm -hmm. So it just made you realize that, you know, I think they've gotten rid of that typical stereotype, like, you all right, mate, you know? Fucking hell, son. Yeah, you know, so that's what they always think. Put the so, kettle on. Uh, Put it on. Yeah. <laughs> nah, so, yeah, yeah, that's what these shows have helped, man. So, yeah. But yeah, man. Anywhere, son. You know I mean? Make sure we say R.I.P. to um, Fred the Godson. Yeah, Fred the Godson, Godson yeah. my guy, man. Like, very one of your favourite, one of Banji's favourite artists. You speak about him a little bit. Um, yeah, he's... he's um, He's mostly underground, so if if, if you if you only follow mainstream, you wouldn't have heard of him. But like a lot of, mm. if you're on Instagram, then you see a lot of your favorite rappers, Fat Joe. He's like, yeah, like posting about him and stuff. Uh, very well known, <laughs> well liked in uh, in New York and stuff. And yeah, very sad. Had a family, uh, you know, wife and two kids. Um, yeah. How old is he? How old is he? Virus. I think it was about 30, 36, 37. Sad man. man. He's young. He's young. Yeah. Oh, man. Favorite rapper's favorite rapper kind of thing, isn't it? He's like a rapper's rapper. Yeah, yeah, yeah the rapper's rapper, exactly. You know what I mean? Like, and he's just a good dude, man. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. it's, it's a shame, you know? It's a shame. Yeah, yeah. R.I.P. for Johnson. But yeah, man, everyone that's watching this, keep yourselves entertained. Let us know what shows you like to watch. Let yeah, us know yeah. what you think about Kanye West being a billionaire. Yeah. Let us know about, you know what I mean, about ownership versus m money made. You know what I mean? We should have another yeah. conversation about that. What's more important, owning something when it's small, you know what I mean, making less money or making more money by having less of the market share. Yeah. yeah. Also, also I, I, want, I want to see this week whether uh, Kanye West gets celebrated as black excellence or not. You know? This is a black guy becoming a billionaire. Let, let's, see, let's see whether he's embraced or everybody says, well, you like Trump, so no. You know, you I'm going to put it up on a poll. I'm going to say, know? is Kanye West becoming a black 
billionaire a mm. win for black people? I mean, according, according to them, every black person is linked in it. Yeah, I mean, and whatever happens to this black person happens to us. You know, it's, black is a thing in your body. You can't explain it or whatever. You can't escape it. Yeah. So, you know, we, we, we'll wait and see, you know. Somehow, yeah. I'm holding my breath. Yeah, I mean, that's good. <laughs> black excellent. Uh, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Shout out to the thousand heads. We out. Yeah. Peace. Yeah. No, no. Peace.